Suppose Susan purchased bonds which yielded 12% uh, annually and certificates of deposit which yield 13% annually. If we know that Susan initially invested $17,000 total and the income or the uh, you know the interest that she earned on these uh, on these uh, bonds and certificates of deposit, we know that's two thousand one hundred and seventy dollars. We want to know how much money she invested in bonds and how much did she invest in the certificates. So, how much did she invest in each? Well, let's see. Um, let's let X be the amount. Let's let X be the amount uh, deposited or spent into the bonds. Okay, so if, if we know that X represents the amount of money that she deposited into the bonds, or how much you know how much money she spent on the bonds, well, how much would she have spent on the on the certificates of deposit? Well, if she spends seventeen thousand dollars total, we would have to take seventeen thousand. We would subtract away however much she spent on the bonds, and that would represent the amount. This would be the amount spent on the certificates. Okay, so she spent X dollars on bonds and the, remain, the remaining 17,000 minus X dollars on certificates. Well, let's see. We know that for the bonds, she earned 12%. So we would take the amount that she uh, spent on bonds, which is X dollars, and if we multiply that by 0 0.12, that'll give us the, the interest earned. That'll tell us the interest earned from the bonds. Well, we would add to that. We also need to add to that, right, the interest the interest earned from the certificates. So to do that, we would take the amount of money that she spent on certificates, which we said was 17000 minus x, and we would have to multiply that by the, uh, the percentage that she was earning. And she earned 13% on the certificates, so we'll multiply that by 0 0.13. And again, we know that that equals in total 2,170. So now we've got our linear equation that we have to solve. So what I'm going to do is just start multiplying things out, combining like terms. So x times 0 0.12 will just be 0 0.12 times x, plus the 0 0.13, uh, you can imagine that's sitting out front. We would have to distribute that to both terms. So let's see, 0 0.13, if we multiply that by 17,000, I'm getting this to be 2,210. And then we would have to mul uh, multiply 0 0.13 times negative x. So that would leave us with negative 0 0.13x. Okay, and that's going to equal 2,170. And now again, just still combining like terms. So if we combine 0.12x, if we subtract 0.13x, that's going to leave us with negative 0.01x. And again, I'm not going to do anything with the constants just yet. But at this next step, I will subtract 2,210 from both sides. 2,210. That will leave us with negative 0.01x on the left side. And if we subtract on the right side, uh, 2170 minus 2210 will leave us with negative 40. And now the last thing we'll need to do is just divide both sides. We'll divide both sides by negative 0.01. Okay, so on the left side we'll be left with x 
the two negatives will cancel out on the right and make a positive. And 40 divided by 0 0.01, you can multiply the numerator and denominator by 100. Uh, that would give you 4,000 over 1. Or again, it tells us that x equals 4,000. So now we know that uh, she spent $4,000 on bonds and the remaining 13000 on certificates.